I know who's going to win. That's the thing. I know it. This is probably the only March Madness bracket I have ever been well informed about, and I'll still probably be wrong. We set up a tournament bracket for this week in our Bleep book group, and I thought it would be fun to make everyone in the office guess who they think the winner is going to be. Which, as in Jordan's case, may be different from our favorites. We've already had a couple of upsets in the first round, so I'm interested to see where this goes. But if you want to join, there is still time. And let me know your guesses, too. So you may have seen it on Instagram or TikTok, but recently we did a little bit of a March Madness bracket in the office because we're always kind of going back and forth on which of our prints are like the best. So we thought we'd put it to our Facebook group, which is our insiders. We thought we'd just see what they thought. So Lauren put together a bunch of matchups of all of our patterns. So there's 12 here, but there were 16 total in the March Madness bracket. And Lauren was the commissioner, the referee, anybody of any importance in March Madness was Lauren. Um, and so that's how all the matchups got made, just cooked up in her noggin based on sales records and all of the opinions that we have in the office. So. There were actually some upsets uh, throughout <laughs> the March Madness um, week, but we had every day our matchups posted, and so it did spiral a little bit and become like a super fun, crazy little thing that we were watching all week long. We thought we'd show you guys some of the madness that went on behind the scenes during our March Madness bracket. What's the okay, next? Round two, lined up. We have Primrose versus Rose of Bloom. Mm -hmm. That's a tough, She's that's a tough we have show. Battle of the OGs, Spring Garden versus Summer Meadows. Oh yeah, Spring Garden is dead in the water. <laughs> Gone. Um, the real bloodbath is going to be Waterfall Floral versus Countryside Bloom. No. I mean, we. I think we know they, they how that's going to turn out. They did this to no. themselves. They could have picked no. lemons. The blue people are going to ruin it. They are. And then blue we people. have sunny poppy versus black floral which i Ooh. thought black floral would be an easy sacrifice but not the under the no Underdog it, is that's a tough one. i i think i really believe that i know how this is going to turn out i have no reason to be confident because none of my predictions are right but <laughs> i think i know who's going to be in the You're final like, okay here we go again All right. ding ding i can't wait that one. i don't know <laughs> oh is this survivor style this is yeah yeah Showing and then putting it in <laughs> I have my pick. I know who's going to win. I know who's going to win. That's the thing. I know it. <laughs> Watch me be like so right. Down. I've never been right about any of these things before. Don't look. Don't look. Y'all are trying to cheat because you know I know. Who <laughs> yeah, because this is rigged, right? Survivor style. For posterity. Everyone knows I'm right. Uh -uh. Not don't look, don't look. Uh-uh. Okay. But you heard it here. Summer Meadows. That's my girl I wish. That's all I got. Bing. You can probably all guess what I'm picking. Waterfall floral. You're going down. It's between two. Okay, EBDI. You let me down with porcelain floral. Come through on this one. This is a joint vote. <laughs> March Madness. Okay. I'm the, I hope no one hates me as much as they hate the actual. <laughs> well, I mean, it was kind of a crazy matchup. It well, was. Well, there okay. were two crazy. There were two upsets two. from day one. The biggest one that's got us all shook is Rainbow Garden versus Rose of Blooms. Uh, and Rainbow Garden was like our best-selling desktop by a lot. So. Yeah, that's Taylor Swift. Okay. People just slighted Taylor Swift. 
Mm. And the Rosewood was the winner. Yeah, but Rosewood's so pretty. How, how she does not get her due. How much was the diff what was the score? Or how big of an upset? And do we think there's going to be a Cinderella story for Rosewood? Could you should imagine? We, should we invite a special guest? Could you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Calling in, she's our gene territory. Yeah, she, our she's rules expert. Our, our, Rose, <laughs> our Rosewood uh, contributor. <laughs> okay, um. so the upset was... 244 for Rosewood to only 137. It wasn't even close. It was almost double. A landslide. Yeah. A la it was. Hannah, do you think Rosewood's going to go all the way? No, Primrose is going to be here. Oh. I, think. I, I, am very a fan. <laughs> I love her. I think she should be Primrose. Hot take. Um, <laughs> but you like um, Rosewood more than Primrose. Yeah, I do. Wowie. Wowie. I also, my pick, I think, should win. Mm -hmm. So Rosewood, I'd love her, but she's my number two. Oh, okay. I have a number one. I'm begging on her. Mm -hmm. Well, if it were Rosewood versus yeah. Countryside, then. Countryside. Yeah. Every time. Okay. I think this <laughs> Rosewood situation is going to be like Oakland. I think it's going to be uh, Jack Golke always going for three, mm -hmm. and he's going to come out and exactly say. what you're talking about. Okay, well, this is for those who do watch Ranch Rat. Uh -huh. He came out and he said, we aren't Cinderella. And then they just lost. And then they lost. <laughs> So I think she's going to be that and Primrose is going to spank her. Yeah, I think Primrose is going to spank most people. So. Was she your pick for number one? You'll have to, you'll have to wait and see. Why can't you just tell me? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could. I don't know. I, I went out of <laughs> Okay, well, we're done. Not waterfall. No, I think. Oh! oh. 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 That's a technical foul, Miss Me. <laughs> Melanie to the line. I 100% know who is going to win How the bracket. How do you know? Just because it's made... going to be waterfall floral. No, that's not why? my favorite. It's, it's not my favorite. But it it it, it's going to win. I, I am confident. Know. I have the bracket figured out. Okay. It's not rigged. Just because you. I just know. I so don't believe you're right. right. I don't. No, believe Lauren it. made the bracket. No, you made the pattern. Okay. <laughs> so she she knew about March Madness as she, she created. She said this one's gonna be the winner, baby. This was in the I am gonna yes. make this pattern to we make a March Madness <laughs> bracket <laughs> a year later to oh, then win it. Yeah. No. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. I'm, I'm keep telling you. Upsets. I'm gonna yeah. What? But wild. we did oh, have wow. another upset we didn't touch on yet, which is the, maybe the most unpredictable upset in my opinion. 237 for Spring Garden versus 145 for Press. Well, that, that's such an interesting thing because this is not playing out the way that like things actually sell, which makes me think, I wonder if people like different things on certain products versus just like seeing the art they have a preference or if we just have a different sample in our Facebook group. The Press floral people are so neutral and I think because that's one of our only neutrals they automatically pick it yeah but like most of our customers are really colorful that's so true they go for the colorful one more often but just so many people like press floral because it's neutral yeah so they like overpower it so I yeah I wonder if press floral is like a very solid like number two like people like just looking at the art they're like oh i love spring garden i just don't know if i want it on my planner i would rather commit to like a neutral pattern on my planner but if i'm just looking at it i yeah. like spring garden better or if you're like in our facebook group if that just means that you generally are like a colorful floral girly to the max versus like if you are a casual ebd customer yeah. you might just be looking for a neutral because you like the planner but maybe the artwork isn't like your favorite thing in the whole world i don't know i wonder yeah it's very interesting yeah. it's very interesting to break down well the other one our closest OT buzzer beater mm -hmm. moment was porcelain floral versus black. Floral. And I was watching that one. And that one was a late change. Porcelain was leading oh, so wow. much of yesterday. Wow. And it lost by 19 votes. Wow. How many total votes? 381 are highest Holy of any God. of the rounds. Wow. So people were the most invested in the buzzer beater. Yep. Wow. Yep. We have multiple people say that was the toughest matchup. How did you feel about that one? Too soon to talk. <laughs> disappointed. Oh, the black floral portion. I understand. Yeah. You're all wrong. Um, yeah. Well, you know, the 200 of you are wrong. <laughs> Thank you to the 181. We're right here with me. <laughs> see you at the funeral. Cool. Well, we'll have to reconvene tomorrow to see the results. We oh, need a well, podcast. We do need a podcast about this. <laughs> um, a one-week podcast. One podcast. Can you give us the rundown of the next matchup? 
the first uh, win in the bracket. We have Primrose versus Rosewood Blooms. But what if Rosewood just says, bam? I mean, it, it, it seems like Rose would have a cohort in the Facebook group, so. True, but the 80 people have already voted are not back. Oh, okay. <laughs> also, props to the 80 of you who are waiting to vote in the first 14 minutes. Of That's this iconic. Rock. That's iconic behavior. Our next matchup is Spring Garden versus Summer Meadows. The next one is Waterfall versus Countryside. And I'm convinced this one's going to be a knife fight. That is going to be brutal. But you said that we already have kind of an unexpected... Oh, we have way more votes on that one than any other one so far. <sighs> that might be our upset. And the last one is Sunny Poppy versus Black Floral. And my guess is all you black flower girlies are going to need to show up today. As the week progressed, we narrowed it down. And by we, I mean the Insiders Facebook group, which we also participated in. Um, we narrowed it down to the final two. And it was Primrose Petals versus Countryside. And it was a little bit of a surprise. Uh, Rainbow Garden was gone in the first round, which was a big upset because she is so popular on our desk mats. And then there was a really tight matchup between Porcelain Floral and Black Floral. Countryside was a little bit of a surprise, a little bit of a Cinderella story. I think three of us had chosen the two as the ones we predicted to be winners, but only one person was correct. The ultimate winner was Primrose Petals, and it was a little bit shocking, to be honest, just because I really thought it was going to be our best-selling print on our planners and our other items, which is right here, Waterfall Floral, who got out, I think, in the Elite Eight or something. Like, I don't even think she made it to the Final Four. It was just a little bit of a shock to me, because I was extremely confident, you can no play it back way. if you That's want, I um, that I thought Waterfall would win, but, we had Primmy as our ultimate victor, and I mean, she deserves it. She is very popular. There were a bunch of takeaways that I got from seeing kind of those head-to-head matchups and just kind of thinking about why some things would sell better um, versus do better in our Facebook group as far as just personal preferences. I'm just still kind of letting it all percolate up there, but we did a 20% off coupon for Primrose Petals for the remainder of the actual March Madness Basketball Tournament. That was really fun. So I think we're gonna try and bring it back next year. It might be patterns again, but they also might not have changed that much. So maybe next year we'll do like products or something. But we didn't have Lilac Floral in the tournament because she was not in existence really when it started. And we don't have really many products on um, with her on them right now. But also if you're a purple fan and you've been noticing that I don't have any purple prints, know that Lilac Floral is coming soon, which is super fun. Also Countryside is pretty new, so I was excited to see that she was popular. Um, and now she's on almost everything that we have. So a couple of options for the purple and purple adjacent girlies, but ultimately it does make sense that a mainly pink pattern would have won out. So. I'm happy because there's only ever been two EBD prints. Well, that's kind of a lie. Recently, there's only been two EBD prints that have ever been my phone background, and it used to be Primrose, and now it's Countryside. So, what does that say? <laughs> Overall, super duper fun. Don't forget, if you enjoyed watching our behind the scenes, to like and subscribe and check out all of our other videos where we show you exactly what happens in our very chaotic and fun small business.